Hey guys and welcome back to Reign of Kings with Avak. Hello! Hey, I'm collecting water in the, the babbling brook beside our base. Ah, it's a lovely brook. <laughs> it's a bun. <laughs> wow, that's proper Scots. That's it. There you go, I've got 20 water, I'll shove... Uh, 8, because... Can't be bothered trying to wiggle it about to get any closer to ten. That's, that's there fine. Go. I shoved eight in there. Okay. Hey, I'm I'm now off of the berries. Yay! <laughs> no more squits for me. I'm drinking water and eating meat. I can't imagine anything will go wrong. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sounds like a perfectly balanced diet. Indeed, indeed. No, no vegetables. We don't need them. Man wasn't designed to eat plants. <laughs> right, have we got our iron anvil up and running? Oh, we do not. No. Let me uh, grab the wood. I completely forgot about that. I'll uh, quickly get the wood and then get an anvil done. If you could also start harvesting the trees, don't worry about deforesting this area. Honestly, if people, the people who probably broke it will know where it is. Yeah. So, uh... You scum. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that. I mean, they're no worse than you. <laughs> right. I don't know. I mean, our base didn't really have much in it. Uh, that's true, actually. But once they have like, gone to the effort of getting in, they probably were like, Ugh, sod it. Right, we'll just demolish this place. Yeah. Alright, let me come back and make this. Could you pick up the chest and start moving them off the floor? Yep. Oh god, it's going to be a pain. Um, yeah, we could do so. making just another chest, like a, an in-between chest. Uh, yeah, let me have a look. Uh, equipment, chest, containers. This, uh, this I could make an iron chest. One. This floor needs to be one higher. Do you want me to make an iron chest? Um. Well, if you make an iron chest, it means we only really need one chest then, because yeah. they're massive. Yeah, I'll make one then. Yeah, we should lift this floor up by one. Uh, yeah, sure. By all means. Because right now we've got... Oh, we don't have a crest here. No. Oh, so I can't lift the floor. Oh, cool. Okay. Right, well... Long live the king! I'll start lifting the floor That all depends on the tax rate. <laughs> yeah. Just Should probably just get a crest down and start. Grab all of these blocks. I can't cleaning. grab those blocks because you placed them. Right. Okay. So we want this to all be one higher, do we? Yep. Now what? Just I was because thinking... right now the the flowers are sticking through the ground. All right. Or through on. the blocks. <clears throat> What I was actually thinking with regards to the uh, walls is we should just have a line of those reinforced blocks. Because a character is too high and can't crawl, we don't actually yeah. need to... Uh, to have the entire thing made out no, of it. We just need banded lines of the reinforced blocks moving along it. Yeah, there was another base that had that. That had a, a band of reinforced blocks. What we want to make sure of, though, is that, uh... Oops. The roof. Well, the, the, it's not possible to just build up through the floor. Ah, or yeah. Or break in through the floor, rather. And we I want the roof to be, uh... To be entirely reinforced blocks. Yeah. Right, I'll place down the chest. If you could get... Uh, it's going to be kind of in an annoying position for now, but I'll just place it there. There we go. Yes. Grab the anvil as well. Right, if we can just start ferrying the stuff into the chest, that'll be the first big step for us. Because I've been yep, yep, yep. chest to yours, so... 
Yeah, and this has got, I think, three times the, is that right? Three times? I'm yeah, not three, sure. Three times the storage of the, the other chests. Fantastic. The best part about it is it's much easier to organise all your stuff. Yeah. When you've got just one big chest as opposed to three tiny ones. There you go. We only had two chests anyway. I mean, we don't have an awful lot of rubbish. There you go. 320 feathers. That mill is doing an amazingly good job. Whenever we go into archery, we're going to be sorted. I know. See? Ducks. <laughs> Chickens are a nightmare to chase down. Yeah. Well, there's ducks. They never seem to uh, suspect it. They're like, oh, <laughs> hello, friend. Have you brought bread? Oh, my feet. Oh, I didn't want those feet anyway. I wasn't using them. They were weighing me down. Right, I need to go and collect some oil. Okay. But, oh, there's definitely oil around Before this area. Before you go, can we make sure we get everything moved up first? All right, yeah, oh yes, obviously, because I'm the one that yeah. placed most of it. Otherwise, I'm not going to do anything. Also, if I don't finish and quickly get a drink, I'm going to die first. <laughs> We'll get a crest going soon. I like how that's something that just sneaks up on you. Yeah. Now let's get some water straight up there. <laughs> what? <coughs> Did that guy get stuck again? No, no, the uh, the furnace is placed. What? <laughs> oh my lord, oh. I can see. It's slightly drunk. <laughs> right, let's uh, let's actually place this in a proper position, shall we? We may need to get some floors built first. Oh, for God's sakes! Quite possibly. Were you creating any blocks? Well, I was uh, harvesting wood for that purpose. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Then I can I make three. Have a drink. Yeah, just harvest all of the trees you can around here. Um, got three there. Let me go ahead and make a bunch of containers gone. I wish the uh, building menu wouldn't go weird whenever you exit and then come back to it. Like with the tears, all the thumbnails get shunted across to the side. Uh, yeah. The other thing Strange I wish they had is a max button. Just make as many of these as I can. Yeah, you can just, um, if you click on the number and then drag to the right. Oh, fantastic. <clears throat> I wasn't yeah. aware of that. Oh, there you go. Also, one of the annoying things is that if you've put on a large crafting order, I can't add to that. Oh, right, I see. So, if you put on, like, a thousand wood blocks to get made, I can't come over and say, Oh, I would like to add another thousand to that, please. Can you get that chest up as well, dude? Did I leave a chest? Yes. And it's right in the way. I didn't even realise. Just down there. Oh! It was hidden. Yes, it was. Ah, I can't take... Can you take the... the whatever it is that's in that out? Yep. Ah, yeah, it doesn't matter. Doesn't Got matter. it. And sticks and meat. We've got so much meat. Yeah. There's some stones. Right. There we go. I'm not sure about chest in here. <clears throat> yeah. As soon as we've got enough of a floor, we'll move the smelters up and also build the anvil. Yes. Right, I better place the smelter. Okay. How big yeah. is the anvil? The anvil is actually quite small. Yeah, relatively. Yeah, I don't know what happened before because I've just lit this with charcoal. Really? Anvil? Yeah. What? What the hell, anvil? <laughs> <coughs> oh, Steve, you're, you're dying from the comedy of this. 
uh, it's slowly killing you, man. Oh, feck. Ah, oh, we... Anvil, stop. Stop being stupid, Anvil. We actually have a decent amount of iron right now. We've got 31 blocks. Yeah. And I'm carrying seven. Well, that's after making the anvil. Nice. Is there nowhere that I can place this? Really? Oh, there we are. There we go, finally! Oh, damn it. Come on! <laughs> uh, my smelter decided to do the exact same thing. And yeah, like, oh. I think we're going to need to move those around. Right, okay! Iron pickaxe! Iron woodcutter's axe! Iron hatchet! Right, oil so we can get steel. Yes. Have I picked up everything that I need to? Oh no, the uh, I need to pick up this thing. Yeah. Well, there's a decent amount of wood in here. Fantastic. Also, pick up the the thing from outside as well. Um, you know what? Maybe. Right. Have we got any wood? Uh, we don't. Um, okay, that's that's fine. That's fine though. You know what? Let me quickly make a couple of these. Oh, I don't have enough lumber. It takes a hundred lumber. I've got all the lumber here. Oh, okay. oh no, I don't, well, there's some lumber in the, the chest, and I've only got 68 on me. That's fine. Oh yeah, there you go, there's over a hundred lumber in the chest. What I'll do is I'll make a large... Like, I'll make a reinforced um, pillar to put the crest on. Me as well. Right, okay. Can we make an iron crest as well? Uh... Mm. I'll drop off all the oh, iron. That, I'll, the iron crest will have to be made on the anvil, probably. Ah, yes. I like to have iron on me instead of in chests because that way, if someone does rob us, then what are they going to get? Some bits and pieces off of an animal? Yeah. Let me see. Anvil. Iron crest requires a hundred flax and much more iron than we've got. Well, how much iron in guns? Fucking heck! Yes, I concur. I don't think I've ever made one. I, I think I've only ever stole them. I knew that was <laughs> coming. I knew that was the next thing that was going to come out of your mouth. Glorious, DJ. Right. Okay. Well, why make what you can get for free? Well, there, there is a certain sort of logic to this. Yes. Right. Um, can you just make a bit of a floor? I've run out. Oh. I'll, I just wanted to get this sawmill down so that I can go and pick up uh, some oil. There we go. <clears throat> can I build on that? No. Okay, can I build here maybe? There you go, we're getting a sawmill going again. Right. I'll just place down this regular crest for now then. And then yeah, we'll no place it later on. Right, I'm gonna go and look for oil. I forget like where it. the marsh is on the east. Hmm. There we go. We are now claiming this land. It will be ours. Oh, before you go too far, um What's can up? you pick up this Oh yeah, the Tinker's thing? bench. Yeah. Oh, Oh wait, 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 can I pick it up? I you need to wait until it's finished being conquered. Ah, okay. I'll just quickly lay down some more flooring. What I should have done with everything is just pick it up Put it in the chest. and then place it into a chest and yep. let you place it so that you can move it around when you needed to. But we're conquering it now, so... Doesn't make an awful lot of difference. No. Unfortunately, I can't place it underneath there for some reason. I can't place uh, floors underneath the zone map. Well, there you go. It's not great placement, but at least as it's down. As, so as long as it's usable, it. yeah. Yeah. That's the main thing. Right. You know what? Sod. 
Well, well, we'll get a basic defensible structure built, but man, it was hurting my soul to have such a horrible looking lump of a base before. Oh, yeah, the previous base, yeah. <sighs> That's so we just need a defense. There's this little like, part of me that's all that's kind of glad that it got destroyed. It was like, yep, <laughs> that was the kindest thing that could be done to that base. Yeah, we need something defensible right now. Yeah, before we actually start beautification. Yeah. Right before I head all the way over to the west, where I know. Um, where the oil is. Mm -hmm. I'm going to swiftly Google a map. <laughs> Cheat because, hacks. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not running all that way. Right. Okay, I got plenty. Um, oh no! It turns out that the oil only is on the other side of the map. Oh, fair enough. Oh, that's a shame. <clears throat> Enjoy your run. Yep, I will. Oh, wait a second. I, I've been all turned round because I alt tabbed. No! <laughs> I've no idea where I am. <coughs> well, if you run for a while and reach the coast, you know you're going in the wrong direction. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'll just climb the nearest hill and look for the king's head. Oh, that's the king's head there. Alright, I know where I'm going now. That's a shame. I I was almost positive there was oil over this side of the map, but ugh. Well, that's not that bad. Nah, uh, oil's one of those things that you don't need an awful no. lot of it. Well, once we're actually properly set up, we can go on a couple of um, excursions just to gather it, and then come back, and then we will probably not need to gather it for a long, long, long time. Yeah. There are some nice bases here, but. And there's also some other bases that's like, you've tried and you've failed. <laughs> I see what you were trying to do. It didn't work. Yeah. Like, I'm right beside a base right now that's very much like that. Like, okay, you've put what looks like supports, so it's not just a floating base. Which, good job. But, uh, yeah, you probably could have done a bit better than that. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of plague villagers over here. Yeah, the plague villagers were being uh, quite aggressive. It was kind of <clears> cool, <throat> in a way. Right. You are just going to have to die. A duck? <laughs> no, plague villager. Oh, yay! Well. Leather shoes! <laughs> Finally! Your feet don't have to be stuck in bark! <laughs> <clears throat> oh jeez, I keep getting this frog in my throat. Yeah, and when that happens to me, it usually doesn't stop for the rest of the recording session. Yeah, that's that get it's some quite there. annoying, that. And leg spikes? Uh, not for me. Oh. Possibly the worst time ever to get lag spikes because I'm sitting beside the plague village. Someone's left a chest here and I want to check it, but I keep getting accosted by plague villagers. If they weren't so aggressive, I wouldn't murder them. I just decided that, you know, the idea of having that crest on a uh, heavily fortified block makes no sense. No, not really. Not in the middle <laughs> of the base. Oh, I wish, I truly do wish, I could move this sawmill because now there's a part of the floor that I can't fill in. Oh, really? Yeah. When the crest's done, you, you'll be able to move the summer. Yeah. But yeah, it's annoying. Summer's nearby. I can hear them talking. Oh, that's my friend. Hello there. Welcome to my base. Diamond. Yes, I, I seem to have a problem with getting walls, but uh, the, the floor seemed like the, the smartest option first.
Pardon? No, nothing, nothing really bad. We, I and my companion set up a base here a few days ago, and it was not here when we came back, except for a bit of rubble, but other than that, it's been fine. Avax making allies. I'm afraid you're very quiet at the moment. Yes, I am making allies. Oh, thank you. Thank you very, very much. Well, he, our friend is our new king. How wonderful. Oh. Yes. Oh, wow. Ah, this is absolutely awesome. He just gave me some loot. Oh, nice. This will be a great help. Thank you very much. My <laughs> yep, he's off. He just gave me some pretty awesome loot. Nice. You know that steel pickaxe you got? Yeah. I now have one as well. Yay! As well as a steel woodcutter's axe. Oh, as well awesome. as four steel and 120 steel compound. Oh, nice. Yeah, not bad. It seems... Because we trekking halfway across the world to get some oil. Yes. And Avak just makes friends. With the king. Ha, ha, ha. Ah, friends in high places. <laughs> okay, well, that was not too bad at all, honestly. Not too bad at all. Though I could barely hear him. Oh, my lord. It was so hard to hear. My, my viewers are probably not going to be able to hear him at all. Unfortunately, if something is quiet for me, it's going to be practically impossible to hear once YouTube has done its shenanigans with the serve, uh, with the video. So I apologize for everyone who's not going to be able to hear a bloody thing that was said there. I will have a look into trying to adjust the volume somehow. Uh, but I'll do that everyone off camera. On everyone on my side wouldn't have been able to hear me either. No, no, that's true. <laughs> Very good point. Ah... Uh, I mean, Steejo might might not even believe that the king's real, that the, this person is someone I actually met, because they've never seen them. They've only ever heard me talking to myself. Mm. Yeah, exactly. I think that Avak just hacked in a load of steel. Either that, or Dark Avak. You know, I, I went to sleep, and then Tyler did. I mean, Dark Avak woke up and went <laughs> on a crusade against other people and came back. A few bases burnt down. It's fine. Now, let's see how much this steel axe gets me from this tree. 18 a wallop. Oh, that's fantastic. Nice. How wonderful that the king just comes along and says, like, Here you go. Have this. By royal bequeathment. Indeed. I like this king. We shall keep him. I don't know, like, I could bully the previous king. <laughs> Does this one seem like he's bullyable? No, I don't think so. He seems on the level. Like, he's asking, have you had any trouble around here? I was like, hmm, no. Other than our base disappearing. No trouble at all. I'm at the swamp, but it's so dark I can't see anything. Yeah, you can pick the wrong time to go out there, honestly. Oh, this is making it so much easier to collect wood. Oh, thank you, king. A kind and benevolent king. Well, he might not be kind and benevolent. He might just take the shine to me. You never know. She was sing songy Welshness. <laughs> Indeed. Next time he comes around, he'll be bringing more gifts and a justice <laughs> costume. <laughs> Wiggly eyebrows. It's like, oh, I see how this goes. It's a transaction, eh? <laughs> Well, I do really like this axe. There are a few bases around here. When I say a few, I mean a lot. Indeed. I've never understood people uh, kind of holing up beside the swamp. I've never understood that at all. Right, how long on my capture? Conquering is going fairly well so far. Everything is doing it a little bit. Um, how many planks do we have? You know what? The sawmill is probably going to be the thing that takes forever. <clears throat> yeah, it seems like it. It seems to be taking ages. Yeah. 
I'm t I'm taking my uh, experience from before it was planks. What do you mean? Um, like we used to make those before you used planks to make them. Oh right. And they were it just made more sense to make them than making stone blocks. What's the uh, the higher level things are? Well, I was trying sort of to work out what that was. Oh, you mean the the next highest up in terms of the the building materials? Yes. Let me have a quick look. Right, tier six is those. Tier seven, yeah, stone blocks, which require stone slabs and clay. I mean that hmm, that would probably be easier to make than the ones that we're making. Are they going to be active though? Oh, dear. Because what we could. With the the lumber mill, it's just a matter of putting a load of water in it, a load of wood in it, and just leaving it to do its thing. Yeah. Is the stone slab, uh, the stone slab, sorry, a little bit more involved? Stone slabs are charcoal, water, and stone, and then you just build them the same as you would any regular block. Okay. So it takes a little while. I don't know what the crafting time is on them, but I don't think it's. Anything well, if too large. Made the lower tier ones take longer. I can't imagine that the higher tier ones take less time. Yeah, but you need different to make the stone blocks than. Yeah, that's true. Like it's tougher to get. Tuck in parentheses here. How's the hmm. oil gathering, by the way? I've got a bit, but uh, it's very difficult to think, find a black thing at night. So I've got 70 oil right now, which will get us 70 steel compound. Okay. As far as I remember, it's just one on one. Oh, it's, yeah, it's one oil to one steel compound. So what do you do with yeah, the steel compound then? You smelt it, and it turns into steel, as opposed to okay. just smelting the iron ore. So yeah, it's one oil, one charcoal, one iron makes one steel compound. Okay. So it makes a lot more sense to make uh, steel weaponry and things like that than yeah. it does to make iron weaponry. I'll pop that steel compound into the smelter then. Yeah, there we go. We've got seven. So tier seven for the stone block, reach level of eight. One stone slab and five clay. Uh, there is an axe just kind of hovering in the sky. Okay. Um. Yeah, a stone slab is one hundred stone. Eight water and four charcoal. I swear, my game is glitching so bad. <laughs> oh, really? It's all I can imagine. Right now, it's a bit closer to daylight. I should be able just to scan the swamp to find where the uh, the other oil patches. There's okay. definitely two oil patches in a swamp. Oh, there's a werewolf. Right, I'm currently carrying 70 iron. Nice. Well, slowly but surely getting there. Yeah. It's not going too badly. We are making progress. There is an absolute ton of stuff here. Oh, okay, so that's where the oil is. Right. I don't I don't know. Know. Regarding the, the sawmill. Can that be upgraded? No. Ah, okay. I was hoping perhaps there would be a, an upgraded version of it, but uh, okay. No, nope, you just need to make more. Might it makes sense now as to why I've seen places with four sawmills. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to make a big, a massive one that you could just shove in a river that makes things a lot quicker. That'd be yeah. nice. That would actually be really, really quite cool. Right, well, until my crest is done, I'm not going to be able to move this oil. But looking at the time, it's about the time for us to wrap this episode up. Are you busy right now, or are we clear to wrap no, this up, No, I'm good. I'm just walloping some oil with a pickaxe. So, True facts, everyone. Medieval times, you gathered oil by mining it out of the ground with a pickaxe. <laughs> Makes sense. But that's going to be it from us. So I do hope you've enjoyed the episode and will be joining us for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care. Bye-bye.